All right, welcome back. We're in the kitchen now. Melissa Graves is here with us from Donna's Old Town Cafe making an apple cinnamon bread pudding. I will have to tell you, one of my favorite desserts is bread pudding, and now you add apples and cinnamon to it. Mm -hmm. You may have just won me over today. We make, we make a lot of this <laughs> and put it on our buffet at the restaurant, and it's probably been my most, uh-oh. It's all been done? my, yeah, all done. It's all been done. my most requested <laughs> recipe this week, and so I promised everybody I would make it on TV. You're going to pass along the secrets, are you? Well, it's just, you should see the bowl that I make. I don't like, even want to see the It wouldn't probably fit on this table, I and we would do, do that do several times a week, and we save all of our biscuits and rolls. Oh, so you're using biscuits and rolls? French toast sticks and just. Whatever, just goes yeah, in. We got it oh, all. So it's a good way to, like, if you have extra stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, at home that you could use uh, yes. because you don't throw it away. Yeah, but who doesn't have it? a loaf of bread laying there? <sighs> I'm telling you. Or other stuff you're like, come on, you, or like the butts of the bread mm -hmm. or something like that. Yeah, you're like, throw them in the freezer. Those. Everybody's got a little spot in the freezer. There you we go. Throw all your bread. So okay. I have, we would say, uh, traditionally about a loaf of bread that you cubed. Okay. And so, the story, you use like 18,000 loaves of bread. Yes. yes. And so I've Perfect. got about three cups of milk. Here's my secret. Coffee? About a cup of coffee. Really? Yeah, I love to put coffee in my bread pudding. Interesting. And I got about three eggs. And why does, do you, does it matter if you use 2%, 1%, whole milk, skim no, milk? No, I mean, a lot of the recipes call for whole or whatever. I just, just use regular milk. It'll give it more richness. There we but go, okay. I'm always in a hurry, so I may not have it. About most a, of us don't really buy whole milk. <laughs> yeah, about a cup of sugar. Right. Well, okay, teaspoon of vanilla. And some cinnamon. About a tablespoon or so? Mm-hmm. And uh, about a fourth a cup of raisins. I grabbed extra because I like lots of raisins in my I put extra raisins in my yeah, and I you make could oatmeal do, raisin cookies. Could extra really raisins. skip it up and do cranberries. Oh, there we go. Yeah. And then I've got, now actually these are apples from the breakfast bar, so they're not looking like they're straight so out of the can. what kind of apples would somebody use at home? Um, I would just get a can of canned apples. Or if you like have the apples ready to yeah, go, you, you could, could do fresh. Just yeah. bake them or something like that to soften them up? Mm-hmm. Or just I, put them in fresh? I, yeah, you can put them in fresh. I've done that before, too. All right, cool. And mix it up. And so a lot of people want their bread pudding to be chunky. I don't like that. No, I don't either. I like for mine to be good and gooey. So I just throw it all in here. And don't be too stressed out about even if you have whole pieces of bread. Because after you get it wet and let it sit here for a minute, it's just going to mush up. Okay. Because I've had people at work spend an hours chopping up bread. Yeah, and don't I'm do like, that. No. Then you throw so, it in the pan? Yeah, we're going to throw it in this 9 by 13 pan and bake it in the oven at 350 for about 30 to 40 minutes. And then for the glaze, oh yeah, the glaze. I have about a cup of powdered sugar, and then I usually just dribble in the milk, you know, till you get this nice glaze. Nice now you can get fancy and put cream cheese and butter and all that jazz, but that's easy. This what is a, so easy. And the, we're here to make things easy, not harder for life. Right? I love to so throw that, then you fun put that stuff on Before, after you cook it. Oh, you bake it, and then when you pull it out of the oven, I drizzle it with this. And you're left with this. And you could serve that with ice cream. Come see us at Donna's uh, Cafe perfect. downtown Madisonville. All right. Anything else coming up this weekend for you guys? Just work, work, and work. Yeah. St. Patrick's Day, and go vote. There we go. Perfect. Hey, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, 12:42. We're gonna take a break, and when we come back, it's time for the buzz. I know you're waiting for that. Stay with us.